What is going on guys, so the insane one back here bringing you guys another review. Um, so like I stated in, our, in my last video, I'm going to be getting up on as many of these pomade reviews as I possibly can. Now, I've been sent quite a few different greases and different pomades that I do need to review and want to review and get out to you guys because like I said before, there have been a lot of new pomades that have come out since I've been doing, uh, since I started barber school and stuff. Um, and today, I'll be doing a review on just a regular regular grease. It's a home brew that I've been asked to review and got sent a few samples of it. So let's get into it, man. What we're going to be reviewing today is Rooster's Pomade. And this stuff hails from Texas. And um, like I said, he hit me up to uh, do a review for him and sent me a few samples. And, you know, I've messed around with it a little bit. And um, what I found with these pomades is, is he's very creative when it comes to making this stuff. Because he has, um, for instance, this pomade right here. This is the one he wanted me to review, and it's the medium heavy. And it's called Pompkin, 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 Pompkin Pie Surprise, sorry. Pompkin Pie Surprise. And what's crazy about this stuff is when you open up the tin and you smell it, it smells just like what he has he's named it. Okay, exactly to the T. Um, when you open this stuff up, it smells like a pumpkin pie. It smells just like a pumpkin pie. And it smells really good. Um, very creative, and I give him props for, uh, for doing that because, you know, it's something hard to do to really, you know, blend those two together, the name and the scent, and just get it, hit it off the bat, just right to the T, just like that. So, awesome smell for that stuff. So, hair is, um, I got a haircut about a week ago. Hair is uh, fairly thick and full as usual. I'm gonna wet it down a bit, damp it up just a tiny bit. Okay. All right. And what I have been using prior to every application of you know pomade is I've been using a Brilliantine cream. This one I'm using Suavecito. This stuff is amazing, by the way. Really good stuff. Um, and hopefully I'll do a review on that stuff in the future. So like I said, I apply uh, a Brilliantine cream into the hair, bro cream or something, a tonic, before I apply it. And I don't know, it just it just gives me a good feel of my, of my hair, tames it down a little bit more, and it makes it a little bit easier to apply for me. So applying this stuff in a little bit gives it a good shine, smells really good. Comb it through, let it down a little bit more, get it a little damp. All right. So let's get into getting this stuff into the hair, the rooster's pomade. All right, man, so I can get the tin open. All right, so looking at the stuff, we got a just regular looking pomade, tan colors pomade. And I was scooping it out and messing around with it just to see what it feels like. And uh, scooping it out of the tin, it feels like a medium heavy pomade, okay? Consistency is kind of mushy. Um, you know, not bad in any way. And breaking it down into the hands, guys. Um, at first, I thought it was going to be a little bit heavier and feeling heavier when you emulsified it in the hands, but surprisingly, it breaks down very easily. As you can see, it breaks down, no clumps, nothing like that. It feels nice and smooth. And going into the hair, not that much tug and pull at all, okay? I would say this stuff feels a lot more on the lines of a medium pomade for me. And I'm just taking little, little bits at a time and working it into the hair. All right. You see, because it comes in, excuse me, uh, it comes in, it doesn't tell me how many ounces is on this tin, but I would say it's a two ounce tin. So, you know, I want to use it sparingly. And I think he sells them for about 10 bucks a piece. And he has different, different scents and different names of different brews that he does make. 
And like I said, his, uh, his names and scents are really creative and very different. All right, so we're getting into the hair, guys. Like I said, no tug and pull really whatsoever. Um, not bad for a shine. It actually is working in very soft and very nice into the hair. Break it down a little bit more. It just blows my mind how much this stuff does smell like a pumpkin pie. It is, it is pretty crazy how you can get a scent to match exactly that. A little bit more on the sides, I think. And we should be good to go. All right. Now we're gonna comb it through. So I got it all in there as much as I pretty much need, I, I think. Combing it through, very easy to comb through, man. No, no pulling, no tugging. Nice and smooth pomade. So to me, this stuff feels like a medium. Um, you know, which isn't bad at all. Just combing it through. Just making sure that every uh, part of my hair is coated with the product. And if you guys are new to the channel, um, you know, I've been uh, trying to do these reviews for, for guys out there who have that really thick hair, you know, more coarser, denser kind of hair, just because, you know, our hair does, uh, you know, it's, diff it's different with, with the amount of product that we have to use if you have a really dense, dense head of hair, because the more dense uh, your hair is, the more product that you have to use, plus having a wave to it or or a uh, curl to it does do some uh, uh, does play a factor in, in how the product will react to your hair. And uh, I know there's a few other guys on YouTube, like I said, who do pomade reviews. Some of them have different textures of hair and stuff. So you know, keep an eye out for those guys as well. You know, because um, my texture of hair may be a lot different than yours, um, but you still will be able to get an idea of how it could react in your hair. Because just remember, my hair. Is thick and it's dense and I have a lot of it so if it's gonna hold for me and do some justice for my hair um, it will most definitely do something for you for your hair just you gotta watch how much a product you do use and the amount that you can put into the hair so combing it through guys feels pretty good nothing crazy and hold it's not like um, not like a High Life Heavy or a Murray's or anything like that. All right, so I'm just gonna try a part real quick, just messing around. So far, I'm digging it, man. I'm not, I'm digging it. it. Feels pretty good in the hair. Plus, the scent it smells just like a fucking pumpkin pie, man. Can't get over it how much it smells like it. Use a pore brush. Slip down the strays I got here in the back. I am actually in due for another haircut, and I just got one like a week ago. So we're gonna pump up the front a little bit here. You 
No, what's crazy is I remember when I first started uh, doing a pomp and getting into pomade and stuff, I was so picky about how my hair laid. Like if there was one little stray hair out of place, I would uh, you know, spend you know, 15 to 20 minutes just to, just to get it to where I wanted it to be. Now it's just like, you know, that's just, you just got to kind of accept how your hair is going to be and just kind of just rock it, you know what I mean? That's just the way your hair is. Let it be that way. So you guys can tell I'm getting pretty decent height on with this stuff. Hairs are not, you know, pulling apart. Holding everything together pretty good. The shine's not like crazy, crazy shine, but that's fine with me. I'm, I'm either or on the shine factor. I do like it, and sometimes it doesn't really matter to me, just as long as it, uh, it looks good, smells good, and it feels good in the hair. Uh, I'm just messing around with it now, guys, just to feel how it's gonna play in my hair. And I probably could have added a little bit more in my hair just to get uh, more strays laying down and stuff but like I said oh, I'm just trying to savor this stuff as much as I can because it's only a two ounce tin and uh, I have a lot of hair so I gotta use a lot of product. But yeah, man, I'm I'm digging the way it's holding my hair so far. Not bad at all. Got the wave going. Yeah, man. I think that'll do it for this one, guys. Um, I'm going to tweak with it a little bit off camera. But, let me see here. I think it's good enough. So, yeah. There you guys have it. Rooster's pomade. And this is, like I said, the medium heavy pomade. Doing a pretty good job. Especially for my hair. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that my hair... You know, it can be somewhat stubborn. And if you guys can tell, looking pretty good. Not bad at all. So uh, I'll give this stuff a thumbs up. Really good pomade. Um, and the scents are just, you know, they're just totally different. Very creative. So um, I want to thank, you know, the guys at Rooster Pomade for hooking me up with this stuff. Good home brew. Um, be sure to check him out. Um, especially on, um, I think he's on ATP and stuff like that. But I know he has his own Facebook page, so just look up Rooster's um, Rooster's Pomade or Rooster's Pinstriping, I believe. Rooster's Pomade Pinstriping, pinstriping at Facebook, on Facebook, and that's how you can get to him. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, be sure to check him out. Really good stuff. I like it. Not bad at all. Um, has his little logo, little Rooster's guy. And like I said, from Texas, really like the way it's holding my hair so far. And the smells are really different. Just That's all I got to say about it. It's really different. Yeah, so I'll do it for this one, guys. Again, thanks for the guys at Roosters for hooking me up. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, um, as long and as well as check out my band. And uh, you know, thanks for for watching and supporting you know the channel as always. But um, yeah, until next time, guys, take it easy.